This is Molly, you're 67, welcome you were back with Dex Isidro Lancers, and we have a second attempt at the Progenitor Mandicora. No, we don't. Oh, there's a group of them, so if it didn't take them long. Right! Let's go, see Regent Cassipia. None of these deaths would have been necessary if the serpent hadn't lied to me. So about Janitor Manticore is dead and prisoners are free. Thank you for helping me in this matter. Now, I need to make sure these spawning pools can't be used again. And I should collect a few of the Manticora remains. I need to study them so I can continue to oppose the serpent's horrid plans. Small box of powerful enchantment inside. Complete quest. Right. Your help in this task was invaluable. Would you be willing to help me deal another defeat to the serpent's schemes? Yes. What else would you need? Do you need me to do? Many regents serve the scaled court. That's why things occur within its coils that aren't under my control. For example, the Iron Orcs are raising an army. I sent my Seneschal, Little Leaf, to stop their efforts. Perhaps you could lend her a hand. I did see Little Leaf out to the east. Where can I find the Little Leaf? Little Leaf should be somewhere along the road, just beyond the Northeast Passage. Let her know I sent you, and she'll trust you implicitly. She has a very trusting soul. I'll go and help a Little Leaf. However, though, before I do that... Oops. A little bit. Hmm. Hang on. Way shrine, way shrine, way shrine, way shrine. Oh, the closest way shrine is the one there. Okay. Maybe I, I know. Let's have a little exploration on the way, shall we? Oh, these guys are gone. What's this? There's too many there for me to take on. Way shrine. It was indeed too many for me to take on. Now, where it's way shrine. Ah. Well, you know what that means. I can jump. Maybe take the road to Little Leaf. Meet some of the people on the way. Shall we? Yes, yes. Hello. Yeah. So before we, before we yeah. do that, what's this? There's a house here. Door smashed in. And the roof. And the goat. Well, I'm not going to steal from any of nobody here's abandoned. Oh no, so but it might belong to somebody. Tattoo skin wrist cozy. No. Poor farm. Oh, better be hers. Charity. Not at all well, is it? Of the ear, Santa Barbara Country. Sounds nice. Oh, of course. 
despite the house with the roof in. And um doesn't seem to be any vegetables growing around here. Everything seems to be in place. Gates open. Well, 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 with no water to be had, to be reached. Let's make this a road trip. It's just the stables, I think. They could be sick. Yes, okay. Nah. Don't know why seaweed's doing so far on land. Lovely horse. Another heavy sack? Sack. Just a sack, which has got. You know, let me go have a look what's up this way. That does not look natural, does it? Who are you? Arena, arena. Arena enforcer. Have I? Where? Ooh, I have discovered Dragonstar Arena. Set me. The captain frowns upon loose talk, but I heard the arena uses some powerful magic. Some kind of glamour as they turn on and off like lanterns. Be ready for anything in there. I know I am. Mm. Halt! We've no rations to spare and we keep our own counsel. Now move along. We're really quite busy. What are Imperial soldiers doing here? The Diamond's daughters go where they please. Right now, it pleases us to compete in the Dragon Star Arena. Why do you want to compete in the arena? Word of this place reached us, and we decided to show them how Imperials fight. These dirt-farming provincials only respect strength. To bring Imperial law back to the region, what better way to get their attention than by winning their little games? Imperial law? Of course. Craglorn belongs to the Empire, as does every other province in Tamriel. Once we crush the forces in the arena, we'll put the rest of the region to heel. So it goes. With just four warriors. Four Imperial Warriors. Strength, confidence, rhetoric. Three. These are the weapons of a true conqueror. The people of Craglorn cower in fear because of a few savages and cultists. They need the Empire. We simply want to remind them of that. Any idea what's inside the arena? We've heard rumors, but I refuse to give credence to most of the wild stories I've listened to. My guess? Common bandits. Or fat orc wives dressed as Daedra, for all I know. I don't really care. It won't be anything we can't handle. You seem pretty confident. Imperial soldiers are always prepared. Whatever's inside the arena, it won't be able to stand against the strength of Akatosh. That's a pretty big sword she's got in her back. What can you tell me about the competition? What do I think of these so-called gladiators? <laughs> Drunken paupers and traitors to the Empire. The lot of them aren't worth half a wounded legionnaire. There's not a shred of discipline beyond our camp. Disgraceful. So you don't think they stand a chance against your group? Against the Diamond's Daughters? Are you mad? Take that lot under the lean-to. They look like they were fished out of a latrine. Ten gold says they die in the first round. Of course I'm joking. Wagers are strictly forbidden by Imperial regulations. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's in interesting. Oh! So these are... Ah, you have mine. Hello. I'm the healer for the Diamond's Daughters. And it's 
thirsty work. Keeping these sods alive is like trying to grow dragon thorn in salt water. But lucky for them, I have plenty to drink, and I'm equal to the challenge. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to be particularly happy with the work. Larissa. The captain cut off oh. the wine rations. What's this? Some friendly advice. In the arena, keep your menders safe. If you take out your opponent's healer while protecting yours, you'll be one step closer to victory. Healers are useful that way. Ah. <laughs> this one's not worth talking to. Oh, and the lean too. Um, Jorazog, the gutter king. I don't have time for this. I have a competition to plan for. Sorry to interrupt. Of course you are. Me and my troops were discussing strategy. We've got a few surprises waiting for those tuskless runts. Lots of surprises. What kind of surprises? Well, for one thing... Hey, what are you trying to pull here? I'm not going to tell you our strategy. That would be stupid. I'm not some skinny elf to be tricked by sly winks and twisted words. Who are you? You must have been hit in the head. Don't you recognize your king? You're my king. Dorzog the Gutter King, at your service. Lord of skeevers and cut purses and, you know, puddles. Things you find in the gutter. You really put me on the spot. I'm a king. Just trust me, all right? Are you really? So, you... Are you sure you're really a king? Sure? Of course I'm sure. I have a pointy crown. I have loyal knights. I even have a castle. You have a castle? All right. You caught me. I don't have a castle. But I have a crown and some knights. And as soon as we conquer this fancy pit fight, we're going to buy a castle with the winnings. You really plan to fight in the arena? Why wouldn't we? We're Dorzog's dozen, and we're ready for anything. I only see any three of you. Now you're catching on. Ha! <laughs> Where do you figure my other six knights are? Sneaky, sneaky. Um, six and three adds up to nine. <laughs> right, nine. A dozen. Don't they teach you numbers back in the civilized regions? Yeah. Right, so nine is a dozen where he comes from. Skeever face. Oi! You have that killer instinct. I can see it in your eyes. Hold on to that feeling, stranger. There's no room for mercy in the arena. Doesn't look like she's going wearing particularly good armor for this. Does it? Yeah. That one doesn't speak. Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Shall we go talk to the rest of the next one? So this is Smiley, your 67 son and all of the decks. Isidorus Isplancis in the glorious sun. Signing off. Be well.